Okay, uh, update on R2. It is Wednesday the 10th of August 2016. Um, I've had R2 in bits again. Uh, yet another modification or a change. Uh, one of the guys in the club actually was talking to me the other day about um, the sizes of the collars here. Um, I think it was Sam. And... Uh, it basically made me go back and measure mine and when I was trying to help with some dimensions I realised I had a problem with my own and that was basically that the leg was going to sit too close to the body. It still looks a little close but I think when the skin's on there it should go roughly to the size of the the outside of the the dome and then be fairly fairly close fitting and you should just see a little bit of this as the as the uh, the skin sort of wrap around there. So what I've done is I've taken off my third set of these now. <laughs> uh, if anybody needs some spaces, let me let me know because I'm getting quite a, a collection of them. Um, so what I had basically was you, you may remember I had some wooden ones and then some three D printed ones that I sprayed silver to try and make it look a bit better. Um, they've all gone. I had too many of them. So then I started making some wider ones so that I could basically adapt the the center frame that I've got take the metal legs. So I came up with these the other day and they were pretty close uh, but I found out that the the outside one was slightly too narrow and the inside one was slightly too thick. So on the third version and the only reason it's orange it's because it's the leftover PLA from BB here but it doesn't matter because you won't see any of it any of it it's all internal stuff and there may not be the final ones either. Um, but anyway, so I've now increased this. I think this is now 31 mil. I'll double check if anybody needs the measurements, but I think this is now 31 mil. That's uh, down to about 10. Um, and then this, with with this, it brings this out to about just over 55 mil clearance between the upright for the leg support and the leg itself. Uh, I'm printing the final one as we speak. Now the other thing I've done is I've changed the bolts. I had some pretty <laughs> pretty bulky bolts originally just to keep all this together um, and the problem with these is the hole in the leg on the metal legs I'll try and demonstrate for you sorry about the shaky video right so if you pop that through there that's all well and good but it's very difficult getting a spanner in there it can be done but it's a little bit tricky um, and I don't want to mark up this too much. I'm trying to be a bit protective about these alley legs. They're so expensive that I don't want to mess them up. So I thought, well, that's not really going to cut it. So what I've done is I've ordered in, and these came today, some cap heads, M12 by 100 cap heads. I think they're 100. Should be the same length as the others. Pretty much, yeah. Um, and those go through, and the beauty of those is I can get something like that in there, or, and I was just using this, and this is brilliant, just a T-bar. It's a bit long, you don't need one that long, it's the only one they had at uh, um, the place I bought it from. But that makes putting these legs on really simple, because that now just goes straight in there, and you can just tighten that up. Um, with an adjustable spanner on the inside, and you're done. So this is sort of, this is how it looks on the other side, obviously where I haven't got the that final outside spacer is being printed as we speak but that's how I'm so that's how I've adapted the, uh, the 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 aluminium metal legs which are using the jag style hubs to the center frame so I'm sure there's far better examples out there but that's just how I've done it for now ultimately I want to replace this with a an aluminium frame with the the four slots so that the legs can be moved um, as I said in the last video uh, there's two sets of holes in the wood, as you can probably just see there, a bit messy, but there are two sets of holes there. Ignore the four in the middle. They're from the styroid, 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 styrene legs. Um, I've been doing this too long, haven't I? Uh, from the styrene legs that uh, I'd actually built out of MDF, but it was the styrene legs pattern, so that's why you've got that, that smaller set of four holes in the middle there. So, so that's it, another little change. Um, 
Hope it's not too annoying if anybody's also doing the same thing and following me, but uh, I thought well, I'd get it out there um, before people start printing things and then find like me having to change them and redo it and modify it. But a lot of this is R&D because, um, you know, I'm, I'm buying, I'm, I'm, mi I'm mixing several different ways of building an astromech here. So, you know, you've I had the, the MDF legs, I've got the styrene ankles, I've got the aluminium legs. Uh, um, because of the cost, I can't do it all in alley so you know at once. So I'm trying to adapt it and modify it and improve it as I go. So, so there we go. So now they are held in, held on by the cap heads, which are much neater, much easier to access. Uh, I'm much more uh, happy with that now. And that's the other one, as I say, the other one's printing as we speak, and uh, that'll be ready for tomorrow to go on. In fact, let's go and just check on the progress on that, and uh, that'll be it for now. Okay, that's the other one that's printing now. Looks like it's had a little bit of a, an accident just over here. So we'll see what happens. Might have to redo that. It's missing it for now. I'll have to keep an eye on that. I might have to abort this one and redo it. We'll see. It's been trouble with 3D printing. It's with some patterns more than others, especially like this when you've got little circles that are on their own, the way it draws it. It's just a tiny little circle uh, of material. And I'm not sure if the retraction settings are working properly because it doesn't seem to retract the material enough. And what happens is uh, the whole thing sort of ends up leaving a lump. And then the next one, of course, uh, the nozzle hits that and pushes the build plate down. Um, so you've got these little anomalies, that was a great big nasty chunk of something there, as you can probably see. So not quite sure what I'm going to do about that, might have to abort this one, we'll see. Anyway, um, that's it for now, uh, more updates to come. Okay, just a little update on these shoulder spaces. Uh, I've now got the other one printed, that did print okay, there was just a bit of a, uh, an untidy bit right at the bottom, but it doesn't affect the strength, it's, it's way inside. So that's fine so what I've done this is now wider this is now narrower so the bolts actually come through properly now to the end of the nut so they're, they're doing something they weren't really they weren't really in very far before um, I might thin this down I might yet thin this down a bit more just to get a bit more nut through sorry a bit more bolt through um, but that looks okay now and I've got a better spacing between the leg and the body still might have to be revised later on but hopefully that's okay and I've got the head off at the moment because it was last time I tested the head it was just graunching a little bit and it was sitting a little too low one of these one of these uh, screws had dropped down just a few mil it was protruding out of the bottom so I've just I've just uh, had that off and freed it up and that's now working a lot better and that's for anyone who hasn't seen it yet that's how the head spins it's just a, a wheel which is spring-loaded against the inside ring of the Lazy Susan or the rocker bearing and that's it. That's, uh, it's relatively simple. And then the speed controller down there is doing all the, you've got the RC stuff and the speed controller down there. It's a Siren 10 speed controller. Uh, if anybody else is doing that, which is that little chappy there with the blue light flashing. That's what's doing the work on the, the motor. Uh, it's a Pitman motor and the gear ratio is the one as per in the club. Uh, come on focus machine if I can get my camera to focus that's the um, part number for the motor and that's the gear ratio 19 by 7 19.7 by 1 um, so uh, that's the one that gives you a nice speed so you can do it really really slowly you've got lots of lots of control if you want it to move really slowly or you can go very fast and you can change direction pretty quick but obviously you need the head bolted on to do that otherwise you can hear the, the, um, the head move and knock against the bolts this is what I meant to put in you need this first Let's just do it like that and that's the base plate for the for the dome which has the electronics on it plus it lifts the head up a bit more because when I just went to show you, of course, I didn't have that on. So now I should be able to put the dome on. He 
so it's not easy one handed. And now hopefully. That's better. You can see the bundle of wires spinning around because they're not connected up at the moment. That's inside, that's where the uh, slip ring is. Well, that's better, there's no graunching now. And the control's great, you can really, really slowly crawl that round. Or you can go full pelt. So that's uh, that's it, that's the little update to the shoulders. I'm a bit happier with that now. I found a company, incidentally, who does laser cutting, and um, I've sent them some drawings for the Jag 5 frame, um, which, is, which is the aluminium frame, which would replace this wooden one I've got. It's alright, the wooden one, but you know, when, when you've got the good legs on and the head on and everything else is aluminium, it seems a shame to have this wooden frame in the middle, which uh, doesn't quite look the part, so we'll see. If it's affordable, I might do that, and I'll show you how that's all going to happen. Um, but if not, I might just have to continue with this for a while, and then, um, you know, do that as an upgrade later on. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, that's it for now.